My name's Aaron Atkins. I go by Arrow, and I'm the head coach of the Dallas Fuel. So Arrow is our new head coach. is the is the ex coach for Philadelphia University. We had a, an, an undefeated record through contenders, and uh, in our my total time with them as a team, we ended with a with a record of 20 wins and one loss. Um, very very structured team, and something that I want to be able to bring to Fuel. Arrow kind of gives us a sense of kind of leadership, and he has a lot to bring to this team. I think he generally has a really good vision. He really wants to win, and he's putting himself in a really hard situation, you know, uh, going from a contenders team doing super well to coming to us, who are clearly struggling right now, and, you know, putting himself in, into the fire, essentially. With someone that has the passion and the drive to do that, it's, it shows a lot, and I think the fans will really appreciate that, and the players and myself really do and I think he has a lot to give to this team. I'm very passionate about uh, helping people grow and become better, not just in whatever field they're in, but also um, just in day-to-day -day life. Fuel is a very incredibly talented team. You have a lot of natural talent, a lot of raw talent, players with big history, and there's so much potential in this team. The players are so smart, but right now, kind of what, what they're missing is, is that coordination and structure. He already has like a lot of planning and strategic ideas of structure with it within the team, and I think that's going to help our, our, our other coaching staff and our players to realize their full potential. And I think that um, with a little bit of structure and guidance, we can definitely get back on top. One of the things that I noticed when I first came in is that the guys are all very talented players. There, there's a lot of brilliance on the team, but um, when, when you have five people wanting to do a certain strat or, or make something happen, it's, it's, it's never going to work because we're pulling in a lot of different directions. And so what I decided was I wanted to push Harry to become a, a leader for the team. So now my role in the team is going to be uh, the salt caller. I think I can fill that role because uh, I give all the ultimate status of the team. Like I, I know what they have, I know what we have. But my biggest problem I would say is uh, calling. What is the plan? And that's gonna be my my challenge for me. So you'll be able to do that. Of course, is an easy game. Harry's personality and his role and what he's been able to do, uh, he he's a great candidate for the team. He's a great leader. He's very positive and he's a very smart guy. Um, and so um, working with him one on one. You know, I, I'm fully confident that we'll be able to take him and, and mold him into this incredible leader. There's uh, a lot of things involved. It's uh, about uh, developing the team to a different state, a stage for... I want to see the players have that competitive drive back. You can tell that over the past, you know, however long it's been, th there's something shifted. I want to see them have that competitive fire, that drive to be the best again. And they definitely have had it, and they definitely have been the best at one point, and we can get back there. Luckily, they've got chips there with the transcendence, but now the Graviton Surge comes in. Earth Shadow removes a bit of the damage. Oh, the same in. Says, you know what? This fight's over. It was nearly at the end. I don't know if anyone can even reach it. It's just going to be Harry Hook with the Mercy. Finally, OGE walks up, take a lot of damage already. No one can get there. And Shanghai Dragons will win King's Row. Showing some moves here on the Brigitte. There you go. Comes back around. Yep. Now whip him into submission. Whip him real good. Ground here, Dallas on the point. All they need is that one tick. And the dead eye. Is he going to get anything out of that? Waiting, waiting for it. Oh, he gets fearless. Somehow gets through, and then he gets a demon on to Kakri as well. They do get the demon on to Kakri. That's a great position. Oh, Seagull gets two. Dallas ties up the series on Hanamura. Winston comes in, immediately shield bash, pushed away. OGE low for the moment, but now they're going to get the kill on to Fearless. If this is what happens, this is why it is so hard to run. Now, look at that. Mickey is doing great on this Brigida. Oh, D in a lot of trouble. That's a lot of damage. Great combo again for Mickey. Oh. Doesn't take much more damage to carry it by himself. D is zoned out by Seagull. A little bit of help for his team there, but Taimu getting all of those kills, and that's going to be a 2 0 on Oasis for Dallas. Jackie the Bugs! Jackie the Bugs! Good job, boys. Good job. Very good job. I think the Shanghai match was a very important one for us um, because. Uh, None of the guys wanted to be Shanghai's first win, and, and us being able to, to take that match uh, meant that, that we could kind of breathe a sigh of relief. We kind of knew that we should win that match, but still, like, there's the creeping feeling of, like, could we be their first loss? But we pulled out the win. I guess everybody was, just had the sigh of relief, like, not the one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Shanghai will win at least one. He, they're not gonna lose like 0 10 this stage, but lucky for us, it's not gonna be Dallas. Sorry for that. Not today, Shanghai. 
And it was great for me because then I could be uh, pretty cocky and you know say that I was undefeated and, and, and joke and all that kind of stuff, which uh, which was fun. It was realistically considering the long term goals. It was a very important win for us. Going into Gladiators, things were a lot more relaxed. Um, we were able to to focus more on on the stage and our overall growth, and not just about Shanghai. We just wanted to have the best showing that we could uh, with the practice that we had, and that the series itself, I think, was actually very close. It was a very competitive series. Wizard Arena, are you guys ready to get this party started? It's time to meet our teams for the first match of the day. Please welcome first, we got the Dallas Fuel. Low or as quickly as possible, making it very low right now. Nice shatter, but it gets canceled out. OGE denied, but Taimu with the dead eye, the big triple. Spinning through here, Taimu gets brought back to life, but it's not going to be for long. Blown up by Silk Threat immediately. Then it's all about running back now for Dallas Fuel. Can they make it back in time? It's going to be cutting it close, but it's not going to happen. Los Angeles Gladiators. Good. Bishu only banking it back just in time, but he's not there to save his Ana. He will get demeched as well. Silk Threat's got the Dragon Blade, and he's going for the Hail Mary here. Instantly flashed and stunned by Taimu, the hero. Keeping Shaz alive there was absolutely enormous. The next few kills that came through were from Shaz. It was a Valkyrie that came back from his partner in crime, and they will capture out the point. About two minutes difference in the time. People, Siegel just hanging on by a thread here, trying to contest. One tick is all that's necessary here for the Gladiators to pull through in the end. Mickey, the last man standing, trying to fight it through, but it's not going to be enough. And the Los Angeles Gladiators will pick up a 2-0 lead in the series. Well. It is a bit chaotic, Siegel. He's got a bit of a twitch when it comes to the shots. We already have the grab coming in, and there we go! Siegel with the combo! As Siegel is set up with the barrier as well, we could be looking for that wombo combo. And there it is, sure enough, hydration in point blank, and they are just trading back and forth. Gladiators, they need to find value, but it's just too much for them to handle. <laughs> Dallas Fuel running them over and tying up this map one-to-one. -one. So much damage from a distance, and they're picking up kill after kill. Oh, it's looking great for the Gladiators. Into overtime, 99%. Dallas Fuel, it's Chip saying, but he's going to be sold for spare parts. He's gone, and they will not be able to make it back in time. The Los Angeles Gladiators will win the series 3-0. to zero. Excellent work. Dallas Fuel, they put up a fight. I think there was multiple factors why we lost the Gladiators, though. We had a lot of information, we expected most things, but they just played better, so that's not on them, that's on us. Even though it was a 4-0, it definitely wasn't a normal 4-0. It realistically came down to one or two fights on every single map that, that decided it, so um, considering that performance and how little time we had to prep, I was super proud of, of the guys and how we did, um, and, and things were looking up for us. It just shows us that teams in the middle pack and even teams higher up that they're not far away from us at all. Maybe we're even above them and there's lack of confidence at times where you just don't believe in yourself that you're better even though you might be. It's very grueling and hard to get back from the mindset. I think, I think getting a win over a good team, I think that would definitely turn the stage around for us. So the first week has been pretty much all about growth. Once we got over that first hurdle of Shanghai, we've been able to focus a lot more on our growth and where the team's going. Uh, and to start from how everything was when I came in first on Monday, to see where we're at at the end of the week is incredible. Um, I'm really looking forward to, to the next few weeks of the season.